Okay. Hi, back again. A few weeks ago I talked a little bit about the moon and how the moon can be a moon sign just like the sun can be a sun sign. A lot of people have written and wanted to know about the moon's nodes. So what I thought I'd do today is give you guys an idea of how to look at the nodes and see what they might mean in a chart. And it's a very quick and simple lesson and I think it'll be easy for you to grasp. And once you have this, you can start examining charts between you and other people. And if you're looking to be compatible with somebody, this is really one of the fastest ways to figure out exactly if the two of you are going to get along down the road a piece. Okay, now we're going to take a look at the nodes and we're going to see basically how to figure out if two people are compatible. Now you notice that the nodal axis is marked right here in the chart. It can be anywhere. It can be anywhere in the chart. It can, it can rotate all the way around. It can be just about anywhere. I just happened to pick this because it's easy to see on the screen. The north node is a very Jupiter node. So anything near this particular point in the zodiac will always be very giving, very promising, and very open. And so the person who has planets close to this particular node, you'll always notice that they're out front and very, very honest and, and very giving. This is a very attritional node, and it's more like a Saturn. Uh, it takes. It does not have much to give. It figures that you owe it. It's like a black hole. It just sucks in the energy, and that's the end of it. Now, what do we do when we see somebody's moon located in one of the positions near the node? Well, the closer the moon is to a node, the more comfortable it is with staying where it's at. So if you see somebody's, uh, you do somebody's chart and you see their moon very close to one of the nodes, you know they're going to be a homebody. They want to stay home, they want to take care of the house, things around the house, uh, gardening, cooking, cleaning, whatever it is that's, uh, that's necessary. They, they see that this is what they want to do. They don't want to venture out. If you see somebody who has a moon further from the node, up in, you know, up almost to a square aspect of it, like this, these people are more outgoing. They want to go out in the world. They want to not share their experiences so much unless somebody else has the same uh, moon aspect of the node. They want to get out in the world and have a great time. They want to do what they want to do. Uh, you know, whatever they're happy with doing, uh, that's what they're going to do. So let's say, for example, that we're looking at uh, the node right here. Uh, for this particular person. Here we see uh, Jean's node and her moon might be right here close to the node. That being close explains to us that Jean is a very very much a homebody. Not interested in going anywhere, not interested in doing much, but she wants to stay home, take care of the garden, take care of the yard, take care of her flowers, cook clean, just be in general a homebody, and that's what that would represent because it's very close to the node. However, if we look at Dennis and we see that Dennis has a moon further from the node, you see how much distance that is, that moon far away like that indicates that he's more interested in going out and, and having his own good time. He's not, he's not interested in staying home like Gene is. So Gene wants to stay home, Dennis wants to go places. Notice too that the node, uh, the south node is closer to the moon than it is the north node. So this tells us that it's a traditional moon. He's more to take, she's more to give. So this becomes a one-sided situation. He goes out more, leaves her home. This is going to create a problem somewhere down the road and chances are this is a, a place where their non-compatibility could create some kind of a separation. So these are the nodes. So remember when you see a planet that's close to the north node, it's a giving. It's promising. It'll put things forth for you. To the south node, it takes away. It's not, uh, it's not a promising node at all. It diminishes any returns that may be coming to you. So when a planet is here, they take. When a planet is here, they give and they get. Those are the two differences. The further it is from away from that axis, the more they want to be out in the world. The closer it is to that axis, the more they want to stay home and be a homebody.